what's poppin' y'all, welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we are taking a look at an anime which I recently watched, and I am very excited to review it, because it's been an anime that I've had on my radar for a while now, but the dub has just recently come out, and season 2 is recently starting as well, and it is called Oshi no... Ko -ko Koa? Koma? Uh, again, I'm not good with the name, I probably butchered it, and I am extremely sorry if I did, but it is a new gen anime which has taken the world by Storm, and it is a sort of reincarnation anime, but in a little bit of a different twist to it, a little bit more interesting. Nothing like, oh, I was reincarnated with a god with like all these powers, and I, I, I get, I get bitches. Nothing, nothing like that. It is very interesting and has really cool story to it, and. It is, it is pretty dark as well, and the first episode is like two hours long, it's like movie length, so it is really interesting, but without any further delay, let's get into what Google has to say about this Oshinoko. So it did come out in 2023, and it does have two seasons, it has an 8.3 out of 10 on IMDb, an 8.6 out of 10 on my anime list, and then an 85% on, uh, Annie list? A doctor and his recently deceased patient are reborn as twins to a famous Japanese musical idol. That is basically the first episode summed up in one sentence, uh, which goes a little bit deeper than that, because how the story actually starts is this doctor is a slacker, and he gets admitted a patient who's not very well, and unfortunately they do pass uh, the same night that um, the doctor passes, because his favorite idol comes into town, and she's having a baby, and at the same time that these two people die, they get reincarnated as an idol's baby, which is something that she dreamed of and something that she wanted uh, throughout her entire illness. And they grow up as babies, but they still keep their past memories for whatever reason, and they don't really bring it up a whole lot after, like, episode one. I feel like it's a forgotten story arc. Um, they bring it up like a very few times and it's more like the guy remembers it than the girl does. And they can talk and they sort of threaten the babysitter to be like, hey, don't snitch or we'll kill you with divine punishment. And they basically grow up with this idol, and at the end of the movie, the idol gets murdered, and the little, the little, the little kid, the boy, uh, decides to set out on a mission to get revenge on his mom and find the killer and the person that ruined her life. So he tries for years and years and years to get into her third phone, which is very mysterious, where she finds a lot of contacts and. You know, he's trying to find who these contacts are. So as he gets older and gets into high school, he goes into this, like, theater school where everyone who goes there has, like, an acting job, a radio job, a movie job, something in the lines of entertainment. And he decides he's going to be an actor and goes on a couple of shows, dating shows, and builds himself up a little idol group for his sister. So there is two different stories for this anime, his sister's story and his story. He tries to keep his sister from ending up like his mother and tries to, you know, keep her safe and stop her joining the idol groups, but ends up making one of his own so he can keep a closer eye on her and make sure that she's safe and not being exploited. And their manager is, like, their mother, and it was their babysitter, which is really fucking strange, because that babysitter was gonna snitch on them, and it's like, they completely forgot about that, even though, like, uh, you know, they told the babysitter that they're, like, divine gods and creatures, so it is very strange that that plot point is just ignored, and how she doesn't, like, worship them a little bit more, or respect them a little bit more. Uh, it is, it is very strange, because you wouldn't forget something like that. Like, that is not something you would forget but they end up building this idol group and in the last episode they have their first performance and we have our main guy sort of getting closer to finding the killer by getting more contacts and more details about the entertainment industry and that is where we leave season one and I did watch this in dub again I mentioned this at the start of the video but I'm going to mention it again here because I'm about to talk about the voice acting so I am reviewing the dub voice acting again I do struggle with reading so I don't watch sub and I just watch dub because it's a lot easier for my brain to process what's happening in the anime but we have the girls voice acting like the main girls but I shit with names I do apologize but one of the twins um the girl twin 
Her voice is so draining, so monotone, and so dead. I don't like her voice acting at all. I don't think it's good, and she sort of takes me out of it. Her voice is just so bland and boring. I, I don't know what it is. It is just such, like, a dead voice, and, like, there's very little emotion behind it. It is... It is not my favorite from the voice acting industry, and everyone else's voice acting is all right. Again, we do have some awkward pauses with their like mouth movements uh, having to match up and lip sync to it, but it isn't like that bad. It's not like terrible, like everyone makes it out to be. It is still watchable and still understandable. Again, I just I just don't like that that girl's voice actor. I, I'm sorry. It's it's just not. It, it, something about it, like, enraged me, and sort of hit my brain in, like, a bad way. I, I didn't like it at all, and it was very off-putting to the anime, but I, I dealt with it, and I kept watching, and I, for the most part, I feel like the story is really good and really interesting, but it does have quite a lot of plot holes. With this reincarnation thing that they set up in the first episode, it sort of takes, like, a huge backseat, and they don't really mention it as often as they should. And it's very like, oh yeah, it's just something that happened. It's it, it, it's nothing. It's meaningless to us. So like, oh well, it, you know, just, it's, it's just a regular occurrence. And as well as like the thing that's a, which I mentioned earlier with um, the babies pretending to be like righteous angels of God to the babysitter and the babysitter then becoming their mother and not giving a shit that they once like were babies that could talk like full sentences and it's just confusing like you know like why doesn't she remember that why is she suddenly forgetting because these these kids aren't like the righteous hand of God they are like just regular kids so why has she just forgotten that and just treating them like they are regular kids now instead of like these divine beings of like god also i would fucking hate to be reincarnated and still remember like my past life because i then have to live through like babyhood childhood not being able to do shit like you know i wouldn't be able to do anything that i do now like i i can't just go to the shop i can't just go hang out with my friends i can't go on my phone for hours on end, I can't make videos, I can't play Xbox, because little baby hens can't hold the fucking controller, little baby feet can't jump on a, on a skateboard and do an ollie, like, I can't go skating, I can't watch anime, because, like, age restrictions, and the body just doesn't equal the mind, and it, it, it just wouldn't work, it would stress me out and fucking annoy me so much. I mean, fair enough, Bluey's alright, I can sit and watch Bluey, but... I, I want to sit here and watch anime, and, like, I don't think parents would be too fucking pleased with, like, a baby watching anime or starting Naruto on episode 400, because that's where I've left it. It's like, what the fuck? It, it's just not good. Not good at all. You you would tell your mum as well, and then you'd be experimented on and played with and ripped apart to fucking see how your mind ticks, just for them to find out that, oh no, nothing in this baby. It it would it would be a very scary situation to be a part of and having to wait till like you grew up to like do things that you normally would it would be fucking torture. I feel like being reincarnated it would be actual torture. But the way this story does it and sets up a mystery about I, uh, which is their mother, is really cool. And I feel like the movie, like the first episode, is like the best episode out of the entire thing. Because it sets up this mystery, it sets up the characters, it sets up the world, it sets up the dynamic. It sets up everything really nicely. And again, it is a bright, colorful anime, so I love it and I think it's really pretty. But as it goes into the series from like episode 2 to episode 11, it kind of just falls off with like the mystery taking a back seat and like pushing the idol thing forward again i do think the idol concert at the end is very pretty very beautiful and i do like it i think it is cool and i think it's very interesting and i do like watching all these idol things on like anime and stuff i, I did watch the zombie land saga and i thought that was pretty cool but i don't know i just i feel like the mystery should be more of the forefront and should be the main focal point of the anime instead of it taking a huge back seat for them to focus on um all of these things 
he's trying to get into the anime industry to find like his mother's killer but again the longer he waits the longer he sort of fucks around and doesn't go after them the the, the, the harder it is it's going to be to track harder it is to trace harder it is to find and again the more time that passes the more the more time they have to get away and to cover their tracks and stuff like that it is just i don't know i feel like the story could be better and it's just taken like a random detour to this random idol group Again, the animation is very beautiful. It's very fluid. I like the animation style. It's bright, colorful, beautiful, everything like that. It's just the story that lets it down in some ways. Again, the characters are all really interesting. They're all their own like stereotypes. They all have their own sort of emotions. And they're very well-built characters with like what they like, what they dislike, their fears and stuff like that. And I like slowly getting revealed like how they tick and how they work. And it just makes you like the characters and connect with them more. But again, it... In doing that, the story takes like a huge detour away from the mystery, and I, I don't know. I feel like that the mystery should be at the forefront of the story, not as like a little side plot when the entire movie set up these two big forces of like reincarnation and like the murder of their mother for them now just being an idol group. It, it feels kind of weird to me. And just like a completely different story to episode one. And because of that, I am going to have to give it a six out of 10. So other than that, I do hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. I'll see you all next one. I hope you all have an excellent day and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.